Now for a course, very brief, about rugby. The generally accepted notion about the origin of rugby is that around 1834, a young student at the rugby school, a rather top-level school in England, was tired of playing football and that at a certain point he picked up the football and ran with it. His name was William Webb Ellis. Here he is, not as a young man. And according to that legend, that is where rugby began. In England, for many years, it tended to be a rather upper-class sport, but it spread. And in southwestern France, it's not just upper-class people who play it. And now, for instance, the five-nation tourney has become six nations, with Italy coming on board. Romania might come on board in the near future. In fact, that's not the origin of rugby. The origin of rugby is a game that was played in villages in England, but also in France, in Normandy and Picardy. And it was called La Soule. And here is an idea of what that game was like. All the young men in a village would get together, there would be a ball, and they would attack, not in military fashion, but in sporting fashion, all the young men of the next village over. And that was called La Soule. So whether William Webb Ellis had seen La Soul or not, I don't know, but he was not the originator uh, of rugby. Rugby is a pretty tough sport, but in Australia and Pacific countries like Fiji, uh, Samoa, women also play rugby, and I once saw a women's rugby match in Fiji in the Pacific. I don't think I would have wanted to play on one of those teams. They were too rough.